Hey everybody, uh, welcome to a brand new playthrough here on my channel. Um, this is Amnesia, a machine for pigs, and you can't actually see the, the title screen yet, so before I do the introduction, let's uh, go ahead and create a new profile here. We'll call it, um, I don't know, Caleb, okay, I can't quite reach the keyboard here. Caleb, Caleb's Adventure. Eh, good enough. It doesn't actually matter what they're called, so... There we go. Alright, so there you have the uh, the starting screen. Now, this is the successor to the original Amnesia game, which is like a survi uh, survival sort of horror um, game. Like, more of an experience than... Uh, you know, you sort of... You, you wander through... Well, you can watch my old playthrough on it, if you're curious. And, uh... The, well, the reason that I'm doing this, I don't really like horror games personally, but I've, it's kind of obligated when you record the first game to then move on and do this one too. So that's what I'm doing, and uh, hopefully it won't be uh, too ridiculously terrifying, but we shall see. Uh, in any case, um, yeah, well, geez, let's just get this show on the road, eh? Start a new game. Whew. I am a little bit nervous, to be honest. Um, I haven't played Amnesia in a long time, and... Uh, he who makes a beast of himself removes himself from the pain of being human. Dr. Samuel Johnson. Okay. Daddy, please don't kill me. Okay, getting creepy straight off the bat. That's good. <laughs> That's what we want, right? A lot of a horror game, I guess. Okay, looks like some sort of lightning in the background or something. Or no, it's like a... Some sort of machine, I guess. A machine for pigs, in fact. Which is the title of the of the series? So yeah, um, well, as far as the series goes, I'm gonna do a full playthrough on it, um, and uh, still continue with the other series like uh, Papers Please and stuff like that. I mean to finish uh, Papers Please sometime here soon. I just haven't gotten around to it. Okay, so it looks like we're waking up from some sort of nap, sleep, we seem to uh, be in some sort of cage, oddly enough. Um, right, okay, I can't really, I can't move around as per the usual amnesia sort of uh, thing. <laughs> You can't move around when you first wake up. Amnesia, a machine for pigs. For pigs. 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 I don't really understand the title, like... Like, some sort of butchering machine, or... Does it mean a different kind of pig? Eh, in any case, maybe we'll find out. Okay, it looks like I sleep in some sort of very nice... Velvety draped bed that for some reason or another has this cage here. Huh. Doesn't even lock. Yeah, well, whatever. Um, I can move around. I'm using a controller here, so... Let's see. All the controls seem to be pretty much the same as, as the last one. RB in racks. Um... Okay, first note. <laughs> I'm going to try to read all the notes this time. Uh, let's see. June 25th, 1899. In my dreams, I see a man dressed in jaguar skins and feathered like a blooded saint. What came from the heart lubricated us. It crushed evil under its tread and liberated us all. The floated heat of the jungle mirrored somewhere behind my forehead. My temple pounds. The blood boils in my skull. It feels as if there's something alive uh, alive there. 
A rat. A damn rat gnawing through my brains, eating its way out into the world. Even the lardodom will not quell its endless hunger. I fear my children playing in the attic. Or hear my children playing in the attic, but it fills me with terror, not love. What desperate thoughts are these? Hmm. Okay. So, this guy is insane, basically. And he's sort of spiraling down insanity, I guess you could say. That's what I seem to get from that. Alright, I'm gonna take the take the plunge. Nothing really else in this room, so time to go. Find us. A note has been added to the journal. Uh no, not that. Um my journal. No, nope. found documents. Oh wait, no, it is my journal. I wake alone to a house in silence. That missing sound of children playing is like a dark and fecked sepulchre, beckoning me to begin a descent to Lu The font in this. Those O's look like U's. To Luam. I don't know what that means. Where surely only bodies may be found. No matter, my children call and I shall answer. I will find them. I am a dedicated father. Even if I have to go through m monsters, I will find my beautiful little children. Looks like some sort of bathroom here. Quite fancily decorated. I can hear the sounds of my children taking a bath, which is kind of creepy. Uh, the mirrors don't actually reflect anything. It might be due to my graphic settings, or it might just be that the game doesn't do that. Who knows? I have to turn down the graphics, like, a lot. Oh, speaking of graphics, I actually wanted to turn up the brightness here, because when it, when it, um, records, did I actually save that? <laughs> Sorry. No, I, d I didn't. Okay. There. When it when it renders things or when it um like sort of captures the the video, um, it makes the video a lot darker. So you have to turn up the in-game brightness. All right, it looks like I'm on the right track. I'm coming, son. I'm coming for you. There are lots of no noises. That door's locked, no problem. This door, uh, not much in here. Oh, what's this? A dead body? No, I think it's like a pile of laundry. <laughs> For some reason, I got really freaked out when I saw it. <laughs> um, a potted plant, very nice. Looks like the attic's up there. I can't open this door. Well, I've got a new note. But they slept in the attic when they were babes in arms, and perhaps they have hidden there now? I remember I insisted upon it, midway between my bedroom and the office. Sorry, my voice cracked there. So I guess we're going up into the attic. Up, up, onwards and upwards. There's a bad man coming. A bad man coming. I hope you don't mean me, son. I tried my best. There are all these pig skulls around as well, if you haven't noticed. <gasps> My kit! I better pick up this first. The lantern! Pressing X. Yep. Figured that. Okay. Well, my children went this way. Best I follow. Uh, where do they go? Into here, I assume. There we go. Puzzle solving 101. Get this out of the way. This is only the first course. We'll learn prop manipulation in the next one. Okay, don't be so creepy, son. Jeez. You know I love you, but... You, you can be pretty creepy sometimes. Ugh. Come on, you stupid box. Get out of my way. My children are waiting. Oh my god, I'm being thwarted by a box. Of all things. Get out of my way. I can't get this out of my way. Come on. I'm using the, the left... Mouse, but the left bumper push thing that you told me. Okay, there we go. 
Sheesh, that was an ordeal. Alright, uh, let's see. Oh, the, the nursery looks like. There's a bed with a little teddy bear here. This teddy bear is surprisingly heavy. I can't actually rotate it around. Eh, I'll leave it here. I considered taking it for my kids, but probably not a good idea. Anyway, it looks like some cribs here. Uh, but not much else, so... Oh, I can hear the babies crying. Ah, uh, just nostalgia. Nothing uh, ghostly or creepy about that. I'm just remembering back, oh, to those wonderful days of old. There's a nice painting here. Of a farm. That's my, my old farm. That I used to work at as a kid. It was my grandpa's farm, in fact. Uh, it's nothing in here. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> nothing in there. Ooh, some wine. Can I pick up the wine bottles? No, it doesn't look like it, but there is a note back there. February 14th, 1899. Yes, he said. I know these ruins. He was a shabby fellow, all rotten with some malodorous disease. I caught him looking at me strangely, as if what he really wanted to know was how I knew of him, of them. Biting back the temptation to box his ears for the impudence, I simply smiled and told him that my family's library contained intriguing travel books. The illiterate oaf did not understand that, of course. He agreed to lead us anyway. I have told the children, truly, this will be an extraordinary adventure. If these old stones hold the financial benefit I predict, it will be merely the first of many. Wow. Okay, so he's going exploring in some ruins. There's some skinny guy. It almost sounded like Daniel for a second. Because, you know, he, he's like thin and skinny from some sort of... There's a lovely picture of a sheep there. A ram, in fact. Well, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, I thought it might be Daniel, but Daniel wasn't illiterate. I'm almost sure of that. Like, he could read in Latin. And, uh, and, and English. So he was quite well read. Oh my god, kid, shut up. I hate that. Stop being creepy. You're doing it on purpose, aren't you? You know that your father's insane and you're teasing him. <laughs> That's awful. I well, we got some more pictures here. Uh, of various things. There's a, a plant there. Those paintings are probably famous and I'm just being an, an idiot. Oh, what's this? Some sort of audiograph player. Record it. Oh, is that it? Okay, so this is some sort of recording and playback device. Um, sort of like, uh, well, like what I'm doing now, I guess. Ooh. What are my kids possibly doing that is causing this kind of racket? I told them not to play ball in the house. My audio setup isn't much better than that one over there, to be perfectly honest. Uh, let's see. Where am I going? Where am I going? Big painting fell down. There's an old grandfather clock that's sitting alone on the floor. There's a guy with a wolf mask. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's a door. Da 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 da. Some more paintings. That's one of my favorite paintings. Oh, yes. There, that's me there. I'm making some bread along with uh, my friend John there. <laughs> We're making bread together. And uh, that's my wife. She uh, she had a bit too much wine and that's why she's sitting like that. And our, our child is sort of scolding her. You can see that. That's our, that's our little daughter. And that's our son. Uh, he was always a bit f feminine so he liked to wear dresses. And uh, those are some random people in the background who came to watch us. Never quite understood that. Anyway. Alright, looks like we have some sort of 
Look, it's a magic lamp. Well, we'll investigate the magic lamp after I take this phone call. It's an old telegraph machine. Sort of looks like a robot. It's got like the two eyes in the mouth. Hello. Hello. What? Precious Eagle Cactus Fruit. Precious Eagle Cactus Fruit. I think he was saying that like as an exclamation. So, you know, like some people just say holy crap or oh my god. Which are kind of standard. But he says Precious Eagle Cactus Fruit, apparently. We should all say that from now on. Okay, lights go on and off, blah, blah, blah. Anything in the desk? Some old books. Some wine bottles. Another note. Here we go. November 7th, 1898. The bank is refusing credit, the ignorant swine. I sit alone at night and weep. Once the children and servants are safely asleep, they cannot hear me. My darling, how I need you now. They say I have squandered my fortune. That my investment in these latest machines has ruined the family name. What? That I was remain to l uh, that I was to remain a local butcher? What are these two arms compared to the multitude that could be applied without pay, without tire, by adapting the mechanisms we find in the looms and the mills? But if the bank has its way, it will all come to nothing. If they come for the house, I swear I will kill them. I will kill them all. I will take my rifle. My rifle. Well, you got several rifles, in fact. So, all right, where do we actually go from here? Some equestrian pig and chicken farm madness. Uh, can't get through this door. There's some sort of flowers here. Can't get through that door, nor that door. Um, there's a book. Another painting. Nothing on the ceiling. Oh, now I can't open this door. What? Son of a gun. Someone locked the door on me. Oh, those kids. They like to prank. Okay. Well, then where the hell do I go? Now, look. My direct, my sense of direction is, a, is pretty bad, but... I can tell where I am in one hallway. And I'm not seeing any other doors. Oh, maybe there's something in here. No. Okay, um, hmm. Check the notes, maybe. The weeping rooms. Is that a new one? Attics and nurseries. A fever dream. The weeping, okay, so it goes from bottom to top. Yeah, I don't think we've read this. Where once we sat to weep lilies passing under weapons that cannot slay the angels to retrieve her from heaven. Look beyond the paintings, Oswald, where once you watched her bathe. Ooh. The children must have discovered those secret places and taken refuge there. Okay. Not... I think that's probably, like, a, a puzzle. Um, where once we sat to weep lilies passing. Lilies passing. Under weapons that cannot slay the angels. So are these... I don't think these are actually lilies. And lily was the name. But maybe the guns... Weapons that cannot slay angels. Oh, here we go. I can actually grab this. I can't take it off the wall. Oh, maybe it's like a, a lever or something. What was the other one? On the weapons that cannot slay angels to retrieve her from... Look beyond the paintings, Oswald. Okay. So maybe we have to go check out the paintings. Maybe something's changed. Oh, now this is one of my favorite paintings. There's uh, me again. And uh, that's Uncle Jack. You can see I'm sort of... I'm going to stop. <laughs> that painting looks really weird. And I don't have the mental fortitude to explain it. Okay, can't get behind that one. Or move it in any way. Nor this one. Nor this one. 
All the doors appear to be locked still. I mean, there's nothing to do with these flowers and... Oh, there we go. Sweet. So that actually did work. Cool. So there are like secret passages in this... Oh! Look, there's my, there's my boys. They're twins, apparently. Cool. Well, I just... I saw them. That wasn't creepy. Because, you know, I, I love my, my children. Okay, some creepy sketches here. Uh, a one-way mirror to the bathroom, which is kind of interesting. Why would I need to spy on my own wife bathing? Like, couldn't I just come in to the tub with her? Now, let's see. We came from this way. Uh, all right, there are lots of naked pictures here. I'm guessing that he sort of drew pictures of her naked and also sketched like really weird things because he's insane and there's another pig skull there and um i think that this hallway is new uh, because we came from the other way okay oh there's aunt bernice she's um she's uh i don't know doing something strange with her hair and those are my two little babies in her lap she would look after our children a lot when we were out on dates and such all right well the only door that we seem to be able to open is this one okay hey we're back uh sorry for the jump cut there for some reason at loading screens the um the fraps or not fraps bandy cam just stops recording and i'm not sure why Okay, it's telling me how to sprint. I don't really want to know that, because that probably means that we're going to have to sprint at some point. Uh, anyway, yeah, so there was a bit of a jump cut there. I'm glad that I caught it. Um, it just stopped recording, like, as soon as I hit the loading screen. But that's fine. It's recording now, so just got to remember to hit record again. Come and see. Okay, son. Have you painted me a picture? Oh. Again with the shaking of the house, uh, looks like. We're, oh look, there are my, there are my kids. But I'm gonna have to read this first. The Grand Hall. That voice on the telephone. He speaks as if he knows me, and it. <coughs> Sorry guys, I had something in my throat. <laughs> and indeed, I seem to remember him, like a twin pulled away from the other at birth. I feel we are entwined, though I cannot conceive of how. I'm a drowning man grasping for the surface within my own house. Beneath me, I know there are splendid architectures hidden in the dark, if I can only find the entrances. <clears throat> okay. So basically, this was a rich guy who used to be a butcher. He spent a ton of money on machines that butcher pit... Ugh. Oh dear. Maybe my wife, like, fell into one of the machines. That's why I went so crazy. But in any case, he, he's making like a bunch of butchering machines and he's using a lot of his money. Probably because he's more than partly insane. See, reading the notes actually helps. I haven't read the wiki or anything or any of the lore. There's that weird photo again, except zoomed in on me and Uncle Jack in a very compromising position, I must say. Um, and what else is in here? Ooh! Oh my goodness, look at this. This is a magnificent room. Of course, this is the mighty elephant seal. Um, I killed this. As did the, I killed everything in this room. Oh my god, look at this guy's face. <laughs> it's like grumpy cat or something. Oh, and here's a pig dressed up as a human. Uh, no doubt there's some sort of signif significance there, but I'm too dumb to realize it. Okay, giant ant eater shot April 12, 1992. 1892. Yes, the giant ant eater. Of course, it's extinct now because. Did that? Oh, I thought that that those feet were moving, because the glat <laughs> that kind of freaked me out. Anyway, uh, here's a giant hippopotamus. Well, not giant. It's actually a regular sized hippo. Still, uh, kind of interesting. Looks like he's looking right at you. Oh, I got another note. 
and after the party she took my arm and said, But darling, however did you get from the trophy room to the guest bathroom so quickly? Everyone considers you quite the magician. My darling Lilibeth, my father's health, health hath many rooms, and as for mine, well, it also hath secret chambers. Sorry, I went into a lisp there. Uh, okay. So, from the trophy room to the bathroom, I'm guessing that, again, has some sort of significance. Uh, some, ooh, some butterflies and some more horses in a painting. And, uh, this is a grizzly bear here. Um, can I actually, I can move it ab about. Oh, this must be some sort of lever again. Yep, there we go. Nice. And, uh, this bear is quite fan fantastic as well. Alright, uh... Moving on, then. We're not doing too badly. Uh, okay, here's one of the machines, looks like. Wow, look at that. How many pigs can we possibly, like, have to butcher? Oh. Well, I think it's indicative or symbolic of his madness. More so than, than the pigs. Okay, not sure what that did. Maybe it... Uh, no, there's no way to get through it there, so... I guess we have to go back. Uh, no, no, none of the doors have opened here. Oh, there's another door back here, though. Can I grab one of these guns to defend myself with? Oh, outside! Wow! That's cool. New for an amnesia game. Well, not really. I guess you did get one outside -y bit in the last game, but not quite like this. This is like free, free roam, almost. Well, compared to the last game, it is. Uh, anyway. Okay, so. Another hallway. A door down there, a door down there. That's the door we went into. Uh, let's try this one first. Billiards! Oh, I love a game of billiards. Let's try and sink one. Which one shall we sink? Of course, I should be using the cue ball here. There we go. Oh, that looks promising. 